Well, I think it showed that we were excited to be back home in our game one start and the energy we had and the type of defense we were playing. Uh, the unfortunate part is we couldn't sustain that level of defense um, throughout the match. And I thought that was one of the, the keys to the match is that we didn't sustain that level of energy. Uh, but I think that energy came from being back at home after being away for three weeks. Our crowd is awesome. We have a great community base and um, even our um, I don't know, athletic community came out and showed support tonight. So I'm definitely happy with the turnout, especially for a Sunday where it's not so normal for us. It's just something we've been working on, that hump. We were right there on the peak, just about to go. Um, I mean, that comeback in game two, like that was awesome. And we fed off of that. We just couldn't capitalize on a few balls. But um, the momentum, I mean, they'd get a good play, we'd get a good play. So it kind of shifted back and forth, but it wasn't too much of a change. We were able to tie it up in both game two and three at 23 but then just couldn't quite get over the hump and and that happens a lot where you've put so much energy into coming back that then you make a, a dumb error which is what exactly what happened in game uh, two with a communication error to, for, to allow them to go up 24 23 so yeah we played from behind the rest of the match after game one in both of those games, we kind of came up from behind and then we got to 23 23 and just couldn't quite get over that hump pretty much and we just couldn't close out which is a little disappointing but it's definitely um, you know good news for us that we can hang with the team like in the top what 26 so yeah I mean that's two nights in a row where her career kills her I mean, she's beating herself there so I mean she, that's outstanding this is the Brie that we expected for her junior year um, at times, you know, she's still learning kind of that new role. She was our fourth or fifth hitter last year in our offense, and she's our go-to hitter this year in our offense. So um, I think now that preseason's over, she's learning that, and teams are going to key on her, and I thought Texas A&M did at times, and she was still able to score. And so that's a sign of a great player. I mean, it's definitely a rewarding feeling to know that um, Ashley has enough confidence, confidence in me to set me that much. And, but um, I'm not really disappointed uh, with our team right now. I think that we definitely could have taken that match, but I'm just excited to where we're going. Thursday, that's going to be a great game. Um, Idaho State, they're big rivals since the Big Sky Championship last year. And I mean, we can't put any of the Big Sky teams down. Everybody's upsetting everybody. Like, there's no clear front runner right now. Well, I think we're ready to play conference and really have that goal of a Big Sky Championship dangling in front of us now and what better way than Idaho State on our home court which the last time we played Idaho State on our home court there's great memories of a Big Sky Championship so that's what we need to take into the match is that type of energy and attack the match the same way we did last November.